Uh, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kazan Rick here, and today we are back with Pokemon Battle Spot Battles. Um, if you have to check out the last few episodes, I recommend them, they were really fun and entertaining. But, um, yeah, if you guys remember, I was, um, I was trying to compete in the uh, international challenge for February, and little did I know, it ended a little bit earlier than I expected. But we got at least two videos out of it. Um, as I said in that video, I promised that we'll have a video highlighting Politoed, who didn't get to play much in episode two. And um, that's actually what the fun theme is going to be for today. Um, comment down below for the question of the day. Um, for Pokemon, which what, which um, weather condition is your favorite? And if you also have a least favorite, um, let me know down below and as to why these are your favorites or least favorites. Um, our opponents bring in a Snorlax, Raichu, Charizard Y most likely, ooh that'll be fun, Tapu Fini, Gardevoir, and a Mimikyu. Okay, okay, it's looking like you're one of the Gen 7 format. Alright, actually no, we're not going to bring in Politoed first. I say we bring a Scrafty, Scrafty is a, Scrafty is a solid option. I say Scrafty. Uh, let's do Scrafty Amoongus. Politoed in the back because that is very essential. And Metagross. This is going to be a fun team. So, yeah, this battle actually. This episode is going to be highlighting um, weather. Um, in the VGC community, um, is dubbed as the Weather Wars, and that is actually, um, fun fact, the format I grew up in when I first started to learn how to play in the doubles format. It was around Gen 4, and it was at the peak of the Weather Wars. My god, Weather Wars was all over the place back in Gen 4. And because of that, it's actually have a special place in my heart. Ooh, Snorlax Mimikyu. Oh god, Psych Up. I can already feel it. Okay, let's um, let's knock off the Snorlax and let's spore the Mimikyu. I think that's that has to be our play. That that's fine with me too. For anybody who doesn't know really what the Weather Wars are all about, it's really just you fighting for domination of the weather condition on the terrain. It's like um. For those who play singles, which I assume most of you have, you will know that generally speaking, um, weather is effective, but it's really kind of restricted to your team and like maybe one or two Pokemon. You really want to make a sun team, for example, have all fire types. Um, and because of that dynamic, Yeah, let's just let's break the Mimikyu disguise and because of that um it actually affects greatly the outcome of the batches okay my opponent has got some strats really really you make it as difficult for my scrafty Giga Drain. We go through the skies. Okay. Who goes to play? I'm a Rage Powder with the Moongus. And I'm a knock off the Mimikyu slot. I know they're probably going to out predict that, but it's the best I got. It's the best I got because um, Mimikyu may wake up this turn. And now, I'm now I can finally speak. I was about to say was, uh, since you got two opponents out there and you are two grown Pokemon, the weather matters a lot. Um, for example, if you're running a rain team, you may, you know, have a rain poke may have Pokemon that's a rain dance has Drizzle, and then maybe have a Pokemon that has Switzerland in the back for singles. Um, that's not so that is powerful, but it's not necessarily the most optimal way to use the rain. My god. Well, that was a wasted turn. Wait, we can use Mega Stones? 
Why were we barely without the Mega Stones in the competition? Oh boy. The garden. Actually, no. I'm iron head the mimic slot. Cause I gotta think now. I gotta actually think. And I'm protect Amoongus. Hopefully, if mimic was not faster than my Metagross. And hopefully, he switches out the Gardevoir. That's my. I'm thinking he switch out Gardevoir for Snorlax. And if we get the KO and the mimic then his Snorlax can't do any potential shenanigans. So now I'm saying with um, let's say you ran. I don't know. Let's say Kyogre and you had a uh, Mega Swampert in the back. That really wouldn't be the most optimal way to use the rain. Now with doubles format, let's say you ran Kyogre with the Swampert next to you. Now you can Mega Evolve, get the Swift Swim off, and the same turn you're using your Drizzle ability. Uh, because of that, it really changes the dyna dynamics of matches because obviously weather affects your stats depending on the Pokemon, their typing, and the moves they're using. There we go. So you didn't switch out Gardevoir. The Gardevoir can't have Psych Up though, which would be weird. If maybe I'm thinking wrong, I'm thinking about a Belly Drum or a Psych Up Snorlax. Oof. Oof. That's that's not very cash money. And we can't use statuses here either. This is why. The terrains as well. The terrains have become just as important as, as weather nowadays because with the terrains, it affects how some things work. For example, Tapu Lele on my screen. Um, Tapu Lele is out, you can't use priority moves. With Tapu Fini is out, you can't use status effects. So I can't put any of these Pokemon to sleep. But I can take off 50% of their health. Okay. Okay, things are looking up. Okay, let me turn down the. Yeah, let me turn that down. Four. I feel so bad because like. Polytoad is in the back, not even being able to battle right now. All because we're trying to take care of. Never mind. Polytoad will be battling today. Metagross avoid it. Did you go, Metagross? All right. Polito comes out as I grab my 3DS charger because yeah, the battery life of the 3DS dwindles as the years goes on. It's kind of sad because you can actually physically feel it dwindling down. At least that's how it is for my two 3DSs that I have. Okay. Iron Head to Tapu Fini. Let's go out the Snorlax. If we get a burn on the Snorlax, we're, we'll be sitting pretty. Not very effective. Ooh, Life Orb. Thanks. Okay, the Fini is gone. Now it's a 2v1. I could legit Parasong and just play around with my Protects if I want to be that guy. Okay. Okay. Do not expect that at all. We're carrying Twisted Spoon, correct? Okay, so Zen ahead of butt. Now we just gotta take care of the snow life. We just gotta do all the damage. Maybe one of these matches, huh? I should have perished song. I mean, that's like option three in my mind, but it was still an option. Actually, no, that's too risky. He may try to, I was going to suggest we don't protect, but if he's going for a recovery move right now, 
essentially he'd be getting it for free. So I'd rather we just damage it. Huh. Well, it can't. Hope. Good. Good news is, if I'm correct, our Metagross should be able to one shot in this range. This thing can have Stomp a Tantrum. I will not be surprised if it didn't. The opponent is delaying the inevitable. If he had leftovers, I would 100% under understand why he would protect. But um. Now just it, it legit comes down to who attacks who and who gets the KO first. Whew. We did it. Shout out to Metagross, you were MVPing that one. That entire Metagross got three out of the four if I'm correct. Where did Metagross knock out everybody? Huh. Obviously I can't see this in real time. Cause um, I probably find out in post recording, but comment down below, guys, if Metagross did get all four KOs. Cause um, I know he got the Finny, I know he got Gardevoir, and I know he got the Snorlax. Um, I forget what the fourth Pokemon was, and I feel bad, but I mean, Moon gets did some good damage. Uh, Scrafty didn't last that long, and Politoed. Politoed skulls put us in a good range for the Snorlax. So that's game one. All right, now I can actually try to talk. Um, I was trying to hopefully break things down, get my thought process on everything, but after having a shaky start, I kind of had to um, buckle down and focus. And here we go. This is the epitome. Of weather wars, it's about to be rain set up all over the place. Got the Mega Swamper, cause I know it's a Mega Swamper. Got the Ludicolo carrying the Swift Swim, cause I know it is. We got the Ferrothorn, which is really good in rain, because Ferrothorn's main weakness is fire. When it's raining, the fire, fire attacks are reduced. Fortunately, we ain't carrying no heat like that. Moltres, which is interesting, and Lele for terrain wards. If if one third of our team wasn't the same as theirs, that actually would have been a war. Okay, um, since they're probably gonna lead Swamper Politoed, I'm probably gonna lead off with Metagross. Yeah, I'm actually do Metagross Amoongus. That's the strongest lead we got as an option for this. I'm not. Dang. Dang. I will bring uh, Top of Lele. And I screw it, we're bringing Politoed. This episode's supposed to highlight Politoed, so let's bring him to the battle. It's like I don't wanna contribute to their shenanigans. Because their team is dedicated around the rain. But at the same time, I wanted to showcase Politoed off. And by the way, I didn't get to answer the question of the day yet. My favorite weather is rain. Um, for a lot of you OGs who have been watching the channel, you probably would have thought I'd say sun. That's actually, that's actually probably my least favorite now. Because after Hale got buffed with the Aurora Veil, that allows for so much more flexibility and crazy setups. And... I gotta say, a lonely nine tails is really nice. I mean, I don't hate any real terrain. Um, I think sand is the most unique out of all four of them because of the boost to spadef. But I grew up with the Kyogre versus Groudon battles, the Kyogre and Ho Ho matches. You know, all that happened within the Weather Wars. Oh God, we kind of got out predicted when it came to our leads. Gonna do that. Sure. I bring a polytope. 
good news is they're probably not bringing one of the two are not coming for this that's for sure Either it's not gonna be ludicolo or it's not gonna be swamper now if they brought both of them i'm, I'm done i'm just gonna forfeit because they they knew i'll bring my polytoad but that will be some big brain plays right there Man. Ooh, very nice on our end. There we go. That's a successful turn. Now, yeah, kind of risky, but I'm gonna bring a moon gift back into that slot. And I'm gonna scald the Moltres. Here goes my strategy that I can only think of right now. We can get him down to a 2v3 bare minimum with Polito still alive. We go for the Parasong. Okay. Oh, he might power trip me. Yep, power trip. My god, I am so sorry, Politoed. I just played that awful. Okay, I'm not a fan of this play, but it's legit all I could think of. Metagross comes out, switch into Lele, and as we're doing that, we're going to Zen headbutt the living crap out of this Moltres, because with the Psychic Terrain up, it also boosts your Psychic type attacks. So with this play, with our Twisted Spoon and the stab that we're getting from our Metagross being a Psychic type as well. We're looking at some major damage. If you thought the damage to the Snorlax was great, never mind. Fly EMZ? Hello? What is going on? Is Fly EMZ really becoming this powerful in the meta? And now we're down to it. Now we're the ones down 2 4. Maybe 2 3. Okay. Okay, this is. This is the worst case scenario. I can't do anything to this. We're burned. We're reseated. We're down 4 2. And both our Pokemon can get one shotted by this Moltres. You know what? We're not forfeiting though. I'm, I'm going out like a man. I just read that it's not very effective. Scroll. I'm going out like a man. I refuse. I refuse to forfeit. Who knows, maybe we get some crazy attack offs and everything goes back to normal, despite having a burn Metagross. Because if you guys don't remember, when your Pokemon is burned, your physical attacks are cut in half. And guess who carries nothing but physical attacks? No, the very textbook play on the opponent's side. I honestly hadn't... Honestly, I had no um option to stop this. They beat me. Your leads are very important. Before someone wants to dive into the doubles format or even singles format, your leads are probably the most important factor of the game. If you got strong leads, then the ball is in your court already, turn one. That means the opponent got to make adjustments, as opposed to you having to make adjustments. It's much harder to win when they're taking advantage of my reign. Dang, Among Us actually ate that up. Okay, we're not getting 4 0 Before someone hops in here and thinks that, oh, I can pick any two Pokemon that I want and I'll be fine. Just know it's much harder to win when you gotta switch out both your Pokemon or you gotta call Protect out than it is to say, hey, I can set up right here or I can throw attacks out and potentially one shot your Pokemon. And we're seeing it on display here. If I brought Garchomp, 
we're being a better situation for sure. But I thought they would be taking advantage of the of their own weather conditions. Um, nope, but we got our plate, and I I will respect that. Here goes the Ludicolo. I'm wondering if he brought the Swampert in the back, as I said in a little earlier. He's probably gonna double tech the Ludicolo. Yep. The game is over, bruh. Just knocked me out. I know you're playing very textbook, but um Yeah, we're We're done though. No, I'm not gonna I'm I'll think about protecting just to be that guy. But Metagross would just have to suffer through another turn of burn and weak seed. Might as well just let Metagross get out of here. He already done enough work from game one. So I guess that means Metagross doesn't need a highlight video. What are you doing, bruh? Where's your scald? That is a lot of damage for a burn Pokemon. GG to the opponent. Thankfully, that was a fairly quick video besides them protecting and the first opponent protecting a lot when it didn't matter. At least this guy protected, it was to play it safe for his win condition. The other guy just protected just to protect. Um, we can, long story short, we can move on to another battle as we're waiting. Yeah, I saw a comment on a video posted, the first video I posted of this um, series, and someone asked why I'm not bringing Kyogre instead of Politoke. Well, for one, we like to have fun here, and two, this is a team I made back in um, early Gen 7 when the Legendaries were banned. Um, because with Gen 8 coming out very soon, we're going to get news about it. I didn't want to breed a team in fear of, oh hey, new team, that's, like, that's a nice new team you built. It'd be a shame if you couldn't transfer them over to the Switch. I, I kind of want to avoid that um, fear. only that um, I think the legendaries are pretty restricted in their flexibility overall and as I say that I see a team of four legendaries because yes I count Ultra Beasts as legendaries a Togekiss and Drapion there it is there it is huh stick I I don't know what's typing I that's how long I've been out the loop I I personally never even caught one of these yet. Someone traded it to me to get the help me complete my Pokedex. Uh, looking at this team, our best bet is Metagross. Ooh, Amoongus does not like this team at all. I mean, it does well against the Finny, but I can live without that. Metagross Politoed, solid lead. Garchomp to help out with the Celesteela if it does come. And I want to bring Scrafty because Scrafty actually matches up pretty well. But we'll go with Lele. Of course, they're, that's their name. Okay, so he sends out Celesteela and the Togekiss. Shiny, of course. Even though you can hardly tell it's shiny. I think we won the match. I think we won the lead matchup. Yep, let's go. We're going to keep it pretty textbook. Uh, we're going to. I'm iron hit the token kiss. I'm a scald the Celesteela. If we could burn the Celesteela. Ooh. Polytoe's rain is really showing off really well here. That was a crit on Polytoe, too. Look at Polytoe eat that up. Token kiss is almost gone. Dang. That token kiss did well. 
We almost did half. Let's get it. Let's get it. So this solo steel is pretty much done. Alright, hit the Toga Kiss. Scald the Sail of Stila. There we go. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what the leaves are all about. It is night and day compared to the last game. Ooh! We take those. We take those. I'm not even mad. Nice and powerful Iron Head. Nice Finny to a pretty good range. Ah! Oops, we're gonna have to talk. Cause I don't like it that when I'm recording, my screen can still go blackout. Okay. The Cell of Steel is gonna protect. Let's let's call it like we see it. Actually. Let's get dirty. Let's get dirty right now. We're taking over the terrain. We're taking over the weather and the terrain. Huh. So I guess this is a bonus episode. Not only is this the weather wars, this is the terrain wars. We call that. I read that play like a book. I'm not even trying to like stroke my own meat off with this. I'm just... When you're playing enough and you understand how the meta works, you can kind of predict some plays. Like I seen back when year one started for Gen 7, almost every Celestial you saw carried Thunder Wave, Protect, and Leech Seed, and Heavy Slam. So what they'll do is they'll Leech Seed, Protect, you know, Heavy Slam maybe, Protect again to maximize on their Leech Seed turn because every turn, no matter what you do, if you're still alive, your Leech Seed will go off if the opponent is still in. That is an interesting shiny variant. Huh, let's take advantage of the... Oh. Garchomp. Yeah, Garchomp could take care of that. Also, we could just stomp a tantrum. Man. That, that is also very, very cash money. And then we're just gonna... Celesteela's gone. Yep. T-Bolt. That's very cash money, if I ever say so myself. Stomp a tantrum. Dang, Metagross took over. Thank you, Lele. You actually did really well. You coming out here to change the terrain was more than enough. Spadef, I bet. Oh, defense. I don't even know this thing's stats. Alright, Garchomp comes in. The Earthquake. And we can leave out of here. Never mind, I can't Earthquake. This actually isn't a good position. It depends on which move his Togekiss has. Regardless, I'm gonna Iron Head the Togekiss. Actually, no, no. Better play. Stomp a Tantrum, the Stakakata, whatever his name is. I'm um, Poison Jab the Togekiss. I think that's the, that's the cash money play. He protected. That's fine. Probably predicted the EQ. I thankfully I stopped myself from it. If the Token Kids wasn't a flying type, we would have EQ'd the hell out of it. Okay. Call me crazy, but I kinda want Polytoad to get the final KO. I think Polytoad deserves it after after seeing what it just did. I'm a sword stance with the Garchomp. Never mind, they forfeit it. Alright. So that's three battles. I don't want to say GG to our opponent. I think we played that really well. We showcased how important the leads are. Showcased how important weather can be. <laughs> even though it was used against me badly. And we showcased how important the terrains can be in a battle. That covered up pretty much most of the bases for double battle. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, 
I will try to push out more of these on double battles and also dive a little bit into singles. I won't be giving out any full flesh guides because I think they'll be pretty redundant to make a guide now at the tail end of Gen 7 knowing that Gen 8 or some major main series title coming out on the Switch this year as well. I'd much rather just make one big guide when that comes out when more people are going to be available and it'll be a great opportunity for you guys to hop in with other newcomers. Um, if you guys like this, be sure to like down below. Also, share it with your friends. that will be greatly appreciated. And, um, yeah, the more support we get, the more content I'll push out here for sure. I'm giving the people what they want. Other than that, guys, I'm about to get out of here. It was fun playing with this team. I do have something special in mind for another battle. And um, I'm recording all this within the same day or two. So don't judge me on my t-shirts. Um, the case full open. I guess I got to close them. And rain is the best weather. So bye.